Hello bakers! Uh, this week I'm going to make something from the sweet cookbook. Um, I was having a little flick through and I saw these! How pretty are they? Although <laughs> I don't actually have a pan that uh, has this, although it says you can use a muffin pan. So they're Ottolenghi's Persian Love Cakes. Um, there's uh, the recipes online so I'll, I'll link that down below. And I have most of the ingredients. I don't have buckwheat flour and I didn't fancy um, going to the, the shops so I'm just going to use some hormel flour and I don't have mascarpone either to top uh, so I'm going to just use some Greek yogurt and uh, yeah I mean this is me I'm always going to just see how it goes it looks really easy um, and it says it's quite like a, a dense texture and actually they're gluten-free so if that appeals to anyone um, but yeah, I'm going to use a muffin pan and I'm only going to make about a quarter of the amount because otherwise I'll eat 12. <laughs> so this way I will just eat three. Um, okay, let's start. Uh, first up, it's some ground almonds. I think it's all just in the food processor. Yeah, so ground almonds and some demerara sugar. soft light brown sugar and then this is where it's meant to be buckwheat flour but I'm just gonna use wholemeal bread flour and look it's such a small amount especially you know because I'm doing three so I guess I won't have that nice um, I think buckwheat can be a bit almost sour can't it or maybe a bit nutty but hey ho um, and then it's some butter which is actually fridge cold which I always appreciate I have to get the uh, butter out early and some salt and then we give that a blitz a few times okay so that's had a blitz and uh, yeah it looks like breadcrumbs so then we put about two thirds of this into a large bowl probably doesn't <laughs> need to be this large but um, it'll do And then we add Greek yogurt. Uh, eggs. It actually gives the um, egg measurement in grams, which is kind of handy. And with the leftover, I'll just do some scrambled eggs or something like that. Although I've just gone a bit over, hey ho. Um, it says you can use a spice called, I think it's Malib, but I don't have that. So um, an alternative is a bit of almond extract, so I'm going to use that instead. And also some uh, fresh stuff in it. Should do. I'm going to give that a mix. Next up, we use the rest of the mixture and put it into our moulds. Like I said, I don't have the nice fancy rectangular moulds. I've just got a um, muffin tin which claims it's non-stick, but I've um, buttered the three I'm going to use. Um, and then you can put this, it looks like this mixture into the bottom and like press it into place like you would with a cheesecake just try and get it fairly even so you kind of have this crunchy bottom and then like dense cakey-ish top you shall see how it comes out is that even? And then give a good squidge and it's just got the sides a little bit. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna scoop up the mixture. Does that ever happen to anyone else? 
<laughs> Why is it everywhere? Brawling splodges. I'll um, wipe off before it goes in the oven so it doesn't burn. Trying to flatten it out, but I think I'm just going to create little, uh, little, sort of peaks <laughs> to my wall. Um, when it's in the little rectangular moulds, you're kind of meant to use a palette knife to smooth it out, but I mean, these don't even come up to the top. So I don't know if it gets into the oven. So I'm using a fan oven, so it's going to be uh, 160 and yeah about half an hour so we'll see what it looks like then okay so they've come out the oven they've had about 10 minutes cooling um it's said until golden brown i don't know if that's a bit beyond golden um but skewer came out clean i've run a spatula around the outside so hopefully i'm gonna unmold it um let's have a look it's okay oh no See, non-stick lays. I'll get that in a second. So hopefully this one. Oh no, the same. So <laughs> one, one came out. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the bottom off this. So I did manage to kind of piece them back together. It came out okay. So I don't know whether that's because they needed longer time to cool down or my non-stick just really isn't non-stick, they need more butter. So they use a silicone mould, which maybe would help. Um, so it can either be completely cooled and then you add the kind of mascarpone and a bit of pistachio and a uh, pomegranate seed, which I might do later, but I want to see what it's like. So if I say you can also eat it warm, so I'm going to have a sneaky bite. Just a little bit. I don't know if you can see steam still coming out. Okay. So it is quite dense um, and it is meant to apparently be like that, kind of dense, almost gluey texture. So let's see. Mm, that's really, really good. It's, um, you get that kind of crunch from the bottom. It is quite sweet, but you can get this kind of, um, almost like a lemony tang, which must be from the Greek yogurt, which lifts it a bit and it's kind of um biscuity and nutty kind of warm you know not not even just the temperature really nice looking forward to um trying it when it's cooler um but initial impression is that's that's lovely it's very very good so uh, i hope you liked it and i'll see you next time